I'm amazed at how few people understand how the book of Revelation is being fulfilled concerning the mark of the beast. So few people have put the pieces together. But without question, it's going to be a chip. It's going to be... It's going to be... uh, put in either your forehead or your right hand if you accept it. It's going to, in the Greek word for mark, in the original Greek in the book of Revelation, is the word prick, to prick the skin. And it's basically they're trying to bring the world into an Orwellian society where everything is tracked by GPS and surveillance. And much of it has already been implemented. And uh, IBM and Verichip and Cisco are all working together to implement this beast-like system and the Antichrist will be one and the same. The Antichrist uh, is working one in unison with the beast system. They are one and the same. It's pretty clever when you think about it because it'll be sold in the name of peace and security. They're right now selling it as a way to keep track of your children. They started out with animals. Uh, Chip your animals, chip chip your children. So if if they get abducted or something happens, um, you can find your children. Um, So more and more as it becomes more, I guess, more fearful in this world because Satan works through fear. People will will be willing to accept the mark just so that they will feel at least they they won't be lost, in other words. Their children, if they ever are lost, they won't be lost very long because they'll just follow the chip. And this is the master plan of the psychos that are trying to bring in this Orwellian society. Obama is on board. Um, Most of your presidents have been on board. Uh, John F. Kennedy wasn't on board. That's why they killed him. Um, But to bring the whole world under a global system, the beast system, um, And you won't be able to buy or sell unless you're willing to be chipped and um, be a part of the the, the system. This is already in the fine print in Obamacare. Um, Everything, all your information, your credit cards, all your medical information, everything will be on that chip. Everything. And um, and it all sounds very exciting, and it sounds like it would be a lot easier. So when you go to the store, you all you do just walk through with your stuff. You don't even have to don't even have to stop at the register anymore. You walk in. Everything will be robotic. Everything will be automated. The, right now, they're coming up with robots to replace um, merchandisers and people that work in the stores. Um, where you'll basically go into a store. <clears throat> right now, there's already stores that are already working with these robots. You walk into a store, the robot will actually take you to the product you're looking for. All the stores will be brought, basically will be warehouses. There won't be any small little stores anymore. Everything will be warehouses. 
and eventually it'll be major warehouses, like even bigger than Costco. You'll walk in, the robot will show you what you're looking for if you can't find it yourself. And then you'll get your goods, whatever you want, whatever it is you're buying, and you'll just walk out. And it'll already be, it'll already come off your chip. People are going to love it. It's it's going to be the the wave of the uh, of the future, um, and the the only downside to it is if you accept this chip, is that you um, basically will basically seal your destiny in hell. Um, there will be preachers. God will send out his prophets, his preachers, and, and to, to warn this generation not to accept the mark before it comes out. And this is exactly what God did with the tree. He told Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And in these last days, God is going to make it very clear to this world that if you accept the mark, you will be lost forever. And there will be those that will laugh and they will mock and they will, and it won't even, they won't even get angry. They're not even going to get angry with the preachers. They're going to laugh at the preachers. They're going to laugh at God's messengers, just like they laughed at Noah when he was building the ark. Um, it, they, they, people won't get angry. They will not get angry. Um, now, they'll get angry when you preach against their sin. But when you preach the mark of the beast and, and warn people of the mark, they're going to laugh. They're going to mock. They're going to make fun. And this is the generation that um, that has been named um, X. It's been named X. And the reason being is because Satan has marked this generation. It's, he's put his mark on it. X. 666, um, the number 6, is also sex. Most know that. So, the mark of the beast is sex. It's sex. It's pornography. It's fornication. Satan is steeping this generation just into the depths of his spirit through sex and pornography and fornication. It's not even where it's going to be. It's going to get worse. It's going to get so much worse. Um, filthy. It's going to get so filthy and vile. Um, homosexuality, sodomy is going to just explode. It's going to just... You haven't seen anything yet. Um, it says the Antichrist has no desire for a woman. So more than likely, he'll be a homosexual. And so sodomy uh, is going to be promoted on a scale that has never been imagined. It's just He's vile. The Antichrist will be so vile. But he's one in the same with the beast system. He's one in the same with the, with the surveillance and the, um, with all of it. He is... He is so diabolical that he, without question, is part of the genius, if you want to call it genius, behind the system itself. He's already here on the earth, the Antichrist. He's already working. He's actually working on the project to bring in the New World Order. He just be, He's behind the scenes. But very soon, the genius that was behind bringing in this uh, global surveillance, this new world order, he's going to come on the scene. And the world is going to see him as a genius. They're going to see him... I mean, you say this is crazy. Well, what about Einstein? The world looks at Einstein as a as, as a, as a uh, genius, and he's the one that developed the atom bomb that brought in the, the atom, uh, was able to create... They were able to create the atom bomb now, they call him, um, you know, a genius. Well, think about this. It says the Antichrist will not serve the God of his fathers, but
but he will serve a God that basically has, nobody's ever served before. And it's a God of weapons of mass destruction. So, it, really, if you think about it, it's the God of war. And right now, there's video games coming out called God of War. The children, the young people are getting so excited. They're getting enthralled in the God of War. Remember, Satan's name means destroyer. He is a destroyer. And he is the one that's behind war. He's the one that's behind all the wars. The, the bloodshed, the destruction. So we're coming into an Orwellian society. It's going to get worse and worse. The, the, um, the riots are going to ex es escalate. It's just going to get worse and worse and to the point where it's just going to be total chaos. And that's what they want. Because without, without chaos, they can't, br they can't bring in order. See? Their order is their plan. They want to control. And that word order is also the word control. So you could easily say new world control because that's really what it is. But it's really Satan that's working behind these people that are bringing in the new world order. It's, it's, it's total dominance. World control. Global control. And... Every move, every single move you make will be surveilled. It, everything will be tracked. And the people are going to love it. And the reason they're going to love it is because it's going to be sold to them in a way that's attractive. It's going to be sold to them. Really, the young people are the ones that are going to really love it. Um, there's other parts to this that the Lord has, is beginning to reveal to me. I haven't seen it all yet. The Lord hasn't shown the whole thing to me. I've been praying and, and asking the Lord to give me understanding. He told me that he would show me and reveal to me these things so that I can warn his people. Um, but remember, when we warn this generation not to accept the mark of the beast, they're going to laugh at us. And we can't allow that to affect us we can't allow that to, um, to discourage us because that's Satan's plan to try to get you to believe that it's not real because you expect the people to get scared. You expect the people to take notice and they're not going to. They're going to mock. They're going to laugh. And the devil's going to try to get you to think that there's more strength in crowds. He's going to try to get you to leave the minority and try to join the majority because the majority, you know, it. the thinking is the majority is the ones that are strong. But remember, you're always stronger even if you're by yourself. See, if you're standing with Jesus Christ. You're always the majority when you stand with Jesus. doesn't matter if the whole world is against you and you're the only one standing. You're still the majority. You still are the majority. Much of this um, that's taking place uh, is already started. Um, right now you go to the grocery store and you buy your stuff and you can check yourself out instead of having to go to um, have someone, uh, a store clerk or somebody at a register check you out. You can basically check yourself out. But eventually it will be where you don't even have to um, you don't even have to put a card through a machine or anything. It won't be a credit card machine anymore. You'll just basically, everything, all the items that you buy will already be tagged. And so when you walk out that door, it will automatically come off your card. So the, it'll, it'll cut down on stealing. People won't be able to steal anything anymore. You say, Brother Joseph, this sounds crazy. It's already implemented. They already have a chip that's small enough that can go on every, in fact, they have tattoo now that's a chip. And that tattoo can be placed just like a barcode is right now placed upon a packaging. They can switch it to that tattoo that has the GPS in it, that has the chip in it. 
Um, they already have the tattoo ready. So basically you won't even, you just go in and get the stuff that you want from the store. And when you walk out, it will already have a chip on it. Everything that you buy will, will be already chipped. Right now they have the barcode and it already has 666 in the barcode. So that barcode will eventually be um, a GPS uh, chip. And it's already, it's here. It's already here, folks. It's just a matter of you accepting a chip into your right hand or your forehead. Now, when you allow a chip to be put under your skin, that's when you've crossed the line. Especially if you know. If you know and do it, then you're really in trouble, right? Um, but I believe the reason why this can be justified as far as God allowing those that receive the mark to go to hell is because those that receive the mark, there's a spirit involved in this too. And those that receive the mark are those that are already going to go into the Great Tribulation. Because those that don't accept that chip are those that are separating themselves. And those that are not, they're not going to go into the Great Tribulation. But the ones that accept that mark, they're going to end up in the Great Tribulation under greater pressure than they were before. See? And it's everything's being set up for this. It's all being set up. And it's all going to be sold under convenience. Peace and safety and convenience. Don't accept the chip. And if I'm speaking to you right now and you're here during the Great Tribulation, don't accept the chip, no matter what. Don't accept the chip, the mark of the beast. Do not accept. Do not become, uh, don't pledge your allegiance to the New World Order. Do not, um, do not accept this mark of servitude to become part of the system. It's like plugging yourself into the system. If you don't have that mark, if you don't have that chip, you can't plug yourself into the system. The only way you'll be able to plug into the new digital cities that are being formed right now, the, the, um, the smart cities that they're implementing right now, the only way you'll be able to live in this world will be if you're chipped. If you're not chipped, you won't be able to plug in. See, you'll be off the grid. And if you're off the grid, you'll have to live off the grid, which means you won't be able to buy or sell. So they, they're saying to you, if you're not part of the matrix, you won't be able to buy or sell. And the matrix is, the matrix has to do with being born and they want you to they want to birth you into the new world order through technology through the chip through the um gps through basically through technology that's where we see transhumanism and that's where we see where electronics are being meshed together with human they're trying to birth you through the matrix of technology and computers well jesus said if you're not born again of the spirit you're not going to heaven so you have a choice. You can be born again through the computer, through the matrix of the computer and the technology, or you can be born of the Spirit of God and go to heaven. It's your choice. 